was detained in a jewelry store for being a suspicious character. He told them who he was. They didn't believe him because he didn't look anything like a rock idol. Here's what happened. If you are Michael Jackson, you cannot walk around in public. You'll be mobbed. But sometimes even Jackson wants to go shopping, so he wears a disguise. And that's exactly what he did when he went into this shopping mall in Simi Valley, California. Jackson was in a Zales jewelry store with a 12-year-old friend on Monday pricing rings. The sales clerk at Zales noticed a suspicious character who seemed to be wearing a disguise. The disguise shopper asked a few questions, then went into another store where he was caught on a surveillance video camera. By the time he got back to Zales, mall security and Simi Valley police were on hand to unmask the suspicious shopper. Jackson immediately identified himself and told the officers he wears the disguise when in public to avoid being mobbed. Of course, this is not the first time Jackson has been seen in disguise. He's often been spotted in New York City or when on tour in various costumes. Finally, security believed Jackson. He signed a few autographs and went on his way. And with us now via satellite from Southern California is Roberta Lohman, who works at Zales. Roberta, thank you very much for coming on today. Tell me what you thought about this whole thing. It must have been pretty funny out there having Michael Jackson. It was funny, but it was also a little bit frightening. I mean, if he would have been wearing his glove, we would have known who he was. Who did you think he was when he walked in? I just thought he was um, somebody who was casing the store, actually. You thought he was a uh, robber. Right, because uh, he had on a disguise and he kept adjusting his mustache in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Now, when you finally learned it was Michael Jackson, what was your reaction? I felt like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you he was Jackson and you didn't believe him? No, he never said anything to me. Um, it was actually at the with the security guard that was there. He was the one who said, why are you wearing a false mustache? And he said, I have to, I'm in disguise. He says, I'm Michael Jackson. Now, how did Jackson react when he was detained by the security guards? He was polite. He was very polite. Um, I don't believe it bothered him at all. Do you think he was nervous that he might have to uh, go down to the police station? Because I know you had the police there as well. He was very nervous, even in the store. That's what tipped off my manager to something was wrong because he acted very, very nervous. Describe that for me. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to see Michael Jackson walking around in the store. I mean, was he jumpy or what was it like? Uh, he just reacted very nervously. He never said anything to me. He uh, was with a small boy and he would tell the small boy exactly what he wanted to see. Oh, so I that, see. So when he was, uh, when you were showing him jewelry, he wouldn't talk to you. The small boy was the interpreter. Right, because I probably would have recognized his voice as soon as he said something. Ah, that's very interesting. After this whole thing happened, did Jackson uh, give you an autograph, or how did he react after that? He gave the security guard an autograph, and we took it into the store, and we uh, photocopied it, so we all got one. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you a fan of his? Yes, I am. All right. Well, it must have been a very interesting day out there in Simi Valley, and we appreciate you coming on with us, Roberta. Thank you for having me. All right.